the worst van life families on TikTok. Sleeping on the floor, pets held in tiny cages, and this entire bathroom for a family of five. Add what? some teenagers who can't fit, children calling their beds coffins, and you're still just scratching Ooh. the surface of Ooh. the worst van life TikTokers. Ooh. Take for example Red, White, and Bethune. They gained 11.4 million views by showing how terribly unspacious their kids' beds were. This should be illegal. Nah, that's, that's... Those kids are gonna suffer in that space, man. To make yeah, matters worse, the beds had rock climbing holds instead of a ladder, which their daughter <laughs> almost fell from whilst trying to show they were easy to use. So Molly's gonna demonstrate getting in the box and show you just how easy it is. How will they get down in the middle? Rock cut? Bro, and then it's rock? Bro, 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 bro. Then it's not like, it's not easy to get in the beds because it's so Yeah. Tiny. Bro. They be like, oh my god, the kids are gonna no. They you hate love this. this. They hate this. Shit. You when it's love dark this. and they want to use the restroom urgently. You what if they this. fall and hit their head? These so-called bunk beds were actually just shelves, yet the family still defended them as being spacious. At the same time, get this: the parents have a king-size bed. The reason why the we back. put a king-size bed in our bus is because it's our lounging area. As well as a massive desk for editing TikToks, forcing the kids to do their school work on a tiny kitchen table. Oh, if they don't help so... out with the van, the kids are punished publicly. Last night, Molly chose not to do her chores. And if our kids don't do their chores, they have consequences. Which the parents still defended even after heavy criticism. Yes, our kids have consequences. Yes, if they don't do the chores, they're gonna have to pay. Into the... Okay, 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 okay. Uh, All of that is understandable in a normal this, household. But you're uh -huh. using it to profit and make content. This van is okay if it's just a vacation van but you're making them permanently live like this why y'all sleep good why you sleep perfectly fine they gonna hate you i gotta climb rocks to get in my bed they're going to hate you come on bro the trolls keep on talking shit and i'm gonna keep on posting see you guys on your for you page but wait with dogs it's worse. Everything we've shown so far is in this bus here, yet they also have a van to take on holidays, which has even less space than the bus. Come take a peek inside. Just take the bus. Just take the bus. Just take the bus. Bah, how? Bah. See what we've done. The van doesn't have a bed for everyone, meaning one of the kids sleeps on this leather chair. Maybe there'd be a bit more space if they didn't own four massive dogs, which are shoved in a tiny cage below the bed yet they still have more space than the toilet. It's covered by nothing but a thick- right, Your legs are in the- Your legs bro. are in the- bro. The curtain is not even bro. out from the toilet. Bro, these kids are going to hate you. Why? And if- why The purpose them, why of- Why put them in a life like this, bro? Exactly. The purpose of van life, Aaron? I could have swore, correct me if I'm wrong, was to be able to travel the world while you live. So why, if you're traveling already, would you- Get off the big bus with a whole family and dog and get onto a little van. It don't make sense. To do what you're already doing. It don't make sense, bro. It's for couples and people that don't have kids, bro. Yeah, bro. You can't subjugate. Bro, I am a strong believer of you can't subjugate, subjugate kids to live a life that is like your type of life. You shouldn't have had the kids. Yeah, bro. You trying to make them live in a bus. Put them kids in a house or an apartment or, or something, nigga. Please, bro. Send them to the grandma house. Yeah. Thin fabric sheet and sits right in the middle of where everybody lives. They call oh. the vehicle their vacation oh. home, meaning when the kids get tired of living in the first van, they're blessed with a trip in an <sighs> even smaller, smaller one. Family of Nomads doesn't have this problem. In fact, they first went viral for how much that space they had, Damn. leading to comments such as, I don't understand why y'all don't just buy an apartment. It's way cheaper than this. Okay, comments like this, it's like, of course they could buy an apartment, they don't want an apartment. Yeah, Now. Now, where the criticism can come if they're subjugating to their, their kids again to, to some, some BS. To some BS. But if it's just them and they don't want an apartment, they want a van, that's and the apartments don't move. Thank you. People came to their defense stating there is this literally is no, no reason, reason to be, to be mad. mad at this, except for maybe except how their kids are living. That. They'd show their room in this TikTok, with the most notable part being that their eldest Addison was a 15-year-old teenager. You should ask your daughter how she feels that she has no privacy. At an age like hers, I'm sure she wants her privacy. Addison hates you. Just because this RV is nice and there's room for their clothes, it's no way to live. I doubt, I, I, I get the privacy thing. But, 
This is way better than the other one. Way better than the other one. Still, still, she still. could not like it. She could want her privacy. If y'all haven't seen proof of that, you shouldn't be saying it. But if you've seen proof of that, then by all means. I'm sure the teenager would love to have privacy. Get her a curtain or something. Well, the family did exactly this. We did install these curtains over each of their bunks and they have a little bit of privacy. But it was still just one of many other problems. The kids were in uh -oh. a homeschool program, yet it seemed most of their education was just walking through national parks where the parents thought they'd learn about life. Our lives are one gigantic field trip. And so a lot of what the kids do that, are is by learning count. from experience. That so for example, count. today we went to a national park and they completed the junior ranger don't program. Count. And it's incredible incredibly educational. They're learning Helpful. history from visiting different places around the country and days that we are not going out exploring, they do a traditional homeschool curriculum and then the days that we're exploring, we still count those as school as well. So they just learn US history? Lol, when they go to college, they'll be in for a shock. Oof, that's scary. There's a reason schools aren't one giant field trip and this is a very good point. Schools are for more than simply learning subjects. Yeah. They help build social circles and prepare kids for a disciplined way of life, both of which are neglected when strolling around the country. But the kids did have other challenges, like cleaning out the rat cage that stunk out the van. We live in a camper and our three kids have three pet rats and I would be absolutely lying to you if I said that it does not smell bad. Usually it's the kid's job to clean the rat cage, but about once every month or two, my husband and I will clean it and it just gets really gross. As well as collecting Take firewood as seen in Addison's day in the life. Yet people were still convinced she's gonna run away at 16. Yet the mother went on to state, I honestly don't know a single unhappy RV kid. She'd even post the following TikTok to try and convince the audience. A lot of people ask us if the kids actually enjoy traveling full time and living in the camper. I, I can't. I'm not speaking on whether Addison hated it or not, but that RV is noise, noise. Like I want one, I, I, I want one not to live in. Nah, not to live in. And Jesus I will have to say that while we were at the RV show in Tampa this week, Grace and Addison both went around and looked at campers because Hell, that's all they know. when they <laughs> move out, they want to live in a camper together and travel the country. Until another video told a different story. Addison has struggled with their mental health for many years. Addison is currently back in treatment and won't be in our content during this time. To protect Addison during this time, we would like to ask for you privacy been listening. on this matter. Perhaps the daughter was unhappy for a totally different reason, yet there was still more evidence that she despised the van. For Addison's 15th birthday, the only thing they wanted was to go to a hotel. The video... Yeah. So, so, yeah. so... So for her the 15th birthday, she wanted to go to a hotel. The signs are there. But then after that, people was commenting and you decided to make videos and lie and say, she's perfectly fine with it. You had the signs right in your face. You ignored them. If what she wants for her birthday is to go to a hotel, a hotel it has since been deleted. Although after arriving at their hotel, twice Addison mentions liking doors in the video, a hint of them having less privacy yeah. in the camper. With conflicting messages about Addison's happiness, people commented, I can't wait for this gen of van kids to grow up and share their thoughts with the world. Although this had happened much sooner than expected. On the r slash off my chest subreddit, an anonymous account made the following post. I'm a teen in a full-time RV living vlogging family and I can't stand it. I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate being homeschooled. I hate not being able to maintain a yeah. social life. I hate having so yeah. little privacy. I hate having I to pretend to be happy with this. I was gonna say this earlier. Like as much as a lot of us don't like school, especially toward the end, mm -hmm. it was very necessary. <laughs> Not only for education, but socially. But like even if you take Mason for example, obviously his first couple years is like I don't work a normal job, so Mason was, was we be at the house chilling. I was chilling with me, chilling with his aunt, chilling with whatever, because it's not like he had to be in daycare for the first three years of it. But it got to a point where even at three or four, he don't have to be in daycare, but he needs to. He needed to socialize with other kids, talk to other kids, learn like other kids early, early, early. So it's like, if he need that socially as a toddler, you need that socially as a, he, as a kid, as a teenager, teenager, you need it. You need it. You need it as an adult. Now, as much as we all sit back and say, I fuck, I don't want to be in school, da, da. 
You need that shit. You need you. We don't need to be at home as recluses as kids and teenagers. As an adult, you can do whatever the hell you want. And even then, y'all see the weirdos yeah. in their basement. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And also education, because most parents that most parents in homeschool don't be doing that shit, right? It just be bull bull crap. We travel full time. I know, I know. It sounds like a dream. I thought so too, but it's an oh, epic nightmare. It's a nightmare. I and just a want privacy. a private, normal life, but no, they had to ruin it with their crunchy way of parenting. It's all fake, by the way. Not what I meant when I said I wanted to take up acting. Oh. I'm frustrated all the time. I'm tired all the time. I'm bored, bored all, all the time. time. Please stop supporting these channels. Stop buying into it. It's ruined my life and I Damn. can't say anything about it. In comments, the poster clarified, I'm between 15 and 17 years old and they were the oldest Jeez. of three siblings, hinting it was Addison from Family of Nomads. Yeah. Exactly who the poster was has never been confirmed, yet only a couple of months later, the family announced they were instead buying a house. Oh, Family of Nomads time. recently quit van life. Their kids seemed the happiest they'd ever been, while the parents were in tears as the RV was stored away. The eldest daughter has since vanished from Lunatics, bro. Lunatics, bro. Bro, lunatics. Nigga, go on your stinking vacations, bro. Obviously, y'all got money. Lunatics. Obviously. Lunatics. Y'all y'all obviously don't work a normal job. Y'all got money some way, somehow, nigga. Lunatics. Let the kids have the life. Let the kids be have. kids. Let the kids be kids. Y'all can still go on vacations, nigga. I'm gonna go ahead. I think y'all niggas rich or something. Cause y'all just up and bought a house. Y'all traveled on the road, so you didn't you didn't have a job or you went to office and none of that shit. So come on, bro. Use your noggin. From the videos. <laughs> Unrelated Damn. comments summarizing what van life's like for kids. RV kid here. Let me tell you, RV is hell for children. Hell. I've been living in a camper with my three brothers and parents, and these past two years have been an absolute detriment to my mental health. Yes, it's an amazing opportunity I've been given to have seen all the places that I have, but I cannot recall a single positive experience anywhere I've been. I receive little to no education, and I'm scared I won't be able to pass my GE. D, I'll probably be repeating high school once I turn 18. The Happy Caravan, however, clearly ignored this oh, warning. They began by documenting their that's life a as a family of 12 and were mostly liked by the audience until revealing they lived in a tiny apartment. Is that legal? Having so many in a two bedroom? Why would you make the choice to have a family of 12 but not be able to provide them sufficient room slash space, nice. although their holiday setup was somehow even worse? that fit the entire family into one single airstream, gaining 12 million oh views by God. showing how they slept. The three daughters were on a table converted to a bed, while another two slept below their brother, who was sleeping oh in a bunk. God. A different- I'm not gonna lie, them older school, old school country families, boy, they used to be popping them out. They used to be popping them out, bro. Like, it's a couple celebrities. Who is it? It's a couple celebrities. I think comedians who had big families and they were sleeping in. The Wayne in. brothers or something? The, yeah, the Wayans brothers. Uh... I think it was somebody like, I can't, I don't remember if it was DC Young Fly. It's somebody like that. Yeah. That big families in. Hell, my stepdad had, it was 10 of them. I don't know if they grew up in a small house, but it was 10 of them. Damn. Them old country fam, boy. My grandmother. Nick Cannon don't count because Nick Cannon is rich and got like Nick Cannon kids probably all don't live together. I'm talking about the families that big family, small house. That's the ones I'm talking about. Big family, but not they can't take care of that big family like they supposed to. Brother slept on the couch, the baby in its cot, and of course the two parents had their and own massive bed. bed. So what about the last two kids? Well, they got to sleep directly on the hardwood, oh. described as not perfect but more comfy oh. than a tent. You have two kids. Kids Hell sleeping on no, the floor just for vacation and we mix it up. In our YouTube video, Dad is on the floor. We if all you can afford is a two bedroom apartment, why are you going on vacation? First of all, why, are you going why did you have a 12 kids? Why, 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 why are you going, why on, you going on vacation? What vacation? What? Bro. What? Get a four bedroom at least. The a, 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 a house, rent a house, something. What? Which by doing some digging was seemingly true. Hilariously, after being criticized, the parents magically found Enoch a blob mat in the closet. But for the most part, the family isn't all that bad, especially compared to wild family oh, life. No. Oh, They've no. been called the most hated van life oh, no. family on TikTok, mainly wow. for their bizarre family dynamic. The page is run by mother Nadine, who lives in a she van 
together with her three kids, along with both her ex-husband and her new boyfriend, who she refers to as a homeless junkie she met on the streets. According to her TikTok, did she... She look crazy. I knew it. I knew it. She don't look all the way in here, bro. Kids, she don't look all the way in here. Her ex-husband and her new boyfriend, who she refers to as a homeless junkie she met on the streets. Her new boyfriend? She refers to him. According to her TikToks, they're not polygamous but live together in harmony, Biggest being able to weird. do so because they have yeah. the biggest front yard. The criticism, however, always extends She's to not the there. kids. They call their education program homeschooling, world schooling, travel schooling, adding they help whenever necessary, but they don't follow any official program. Technically, I don't follow any curriculum, but we have this app. Uh, my kids learning with they set their times each day they do that by themselves we should have known about the dreads yeah i was about to say that we should have known with the dreads we said the same thing at the same time known, it's the you see a white woman with dreads that don't look like she a part of the culture you you know something's wrong there's nothing i have to do help them if needed explains everything doomed to fail they'd respond to the hate with the world's most hippie message the only way to deal with an unfree world is to become so absolutely free that your very existence. You know what's crazy? All that beauty and nothing's up there. All that, damn. She don't even them. look beautiful. She, she, all pretty women do be having big ass heads, but bro, them motherfuckers do be having. Have no, nah, that's a noggin, Aaron. That's a fucking noggin. Ain't nothing up here. Yeah, Ain't nothing she, up here. She's not really that pretty. She, you gotta take away. If you take away her stupidity, she's a very beautiful woman. It's the we seeing the stupid. <laughs> you, you see the stupid. If you take away the dreads, and she's a normal woman with blue eyes, and that's she's a pretty mm. woman. She's just dumb. It's an act of rebellion. Adding their kids are extremely Hit satisfied me. with the life that they're living. People think, oh, poor children, poor children. But trust me, my children, they wake up, wake up with a smile in their face. They go to bed with a smile in their face. Yet it's perfect to finish with this comment here. When I was a child, I would have been very happy to eat nothing but candy and potato chips all day. But my mother did not let me because exactly. she knew better. It's a exactly. parent's job to do what's best for their children, exactly. not just what makes them happy. Exactly. W video, Jesus Christ.